This is Streamline News for Thursday, January 5th, 2012, brought to you by SwimOutlet.com, the web's most popular swim shop. The situation involving John Trimbley's sudden firing on Tuesday has escalated into a criminal investigation. According to the Knoxville News Sentinel, the University of Tennessee has turned over the issue to the proper law enforcement authorities. Trimbley has hired a lawyer for his defense in this investigation, and Swimming World will continue to follow developments into the matter. Swimming Australia has announced that Ian Thorpe and Michael Clem will be swimming at the Victorian State Championships next week in Melbourne. This will be Thorpe's first competition in Australia since he retired in 2006, and Clem's first official major meet since announcing his return to the sport 11 months ago. Also swimming in the meet is Matt Target, who was part of the gold medal 400 free relay at the World Championships, Libby Trickett, who is looking to make her comeback successful, and World Championship silver medalist Alicia Coots. London Olympic organizers are finding themselves in a bind after overselling the synchronized swimming venue by about 10,000 seats. That's turning out to be a good thing for those ticket holders left out as they are being compensated with tickets to other events, some of them among the highest profile events in the Olympics, including the 100 meter dash and many of the swimming races. A sports writer on Twitter announced her excitement that instead of watching Synchro, she'll be at the London Aquatic Center to watch the medley relays. General ticket sales for many sports will begin in April for about 1.2 million tickets. According to Olympic organizers, only soccer has sold out. That's going to do it for Streamline News today. Thanks for watching.